periyava sharanam glimpses from shri mahaperiyava's life history volume 5 chapter 13 continued chidambaram nataraja darshan among the panjabhuta kshetrams chidambaram is considered the akasha kshetram either or space mahaperiyava had already visited the other four kshetrams mahaperiyava was very keen to visit chidambaram and have darshan of the ruling deity shri nataraja however due to a historical reason there was a slight hindrance for the heads of kamakoti peetam in visiting the nataraja temple in chidambaram as an age old tradition whenever the acharyas of the peetam visited any temple they used to take the vibhuti kumkum prasadam directly from the plate or cup offered by the temple archakas however the dikshitars priests of chidambaram temple refused to accept this tradition the refusal by dikshitars seems to be confirmed in the following extract from page number 340 volume 1 of the book titled cars and tribes of southern india by e thurston released by the chennai government in 1909 as a class dikshitars are haughty and refuse to acknowledge any of the shankaracharyas as their priest because they are almost equal to god shiva who is one of them if a shankaracharya comes to the temple he is not allowed to take the sacred ashes direct from the cups as is done in other temples to show respect to the sanyasin whatever be the truth none of the shankaracharyas of the peetam in the 200 years prior to mahaperiyava had ever visited chidambaram for nataraja darshan there were many devotees who wanted to somehow bring periyava to chidambaram nataraja temple among them were dandabani swami dikshidar who belonged to the dikshidar sect the great tamil scholar uv swaminatha iyer and raja sir annamalai chettiyar the citizens of chidambaram city had earlier requested mahaperiyava to visit chidambaram soon after the completion of shankara jayanti in tiruvidai marudur mahaperiyava graciously accepted their invitation setting a milestone in the history of kamakoti peetam mahaperiyava visited chidambaram on thursday may 18 1933 the citizens of the city including the dikshidar community received mahaperiyava at the outskirts of the city with full honors of purna kumbham vedagosham bhajans and nadaswaram while the people of chidambaram were worried about the ritual of offering of vibhuti to periyava at the nataraja temple this was of least concern to mahaperiyava chidambaram temple the term koil split as koil in tamil literally means the king's home it is an apt name for chidambaram temple as shiva here is called nataraja the king of dance located in the heart of the city the high walled chidambaram temple has four beautiful towering gopurams chidambaram comes from the sanskrit words chit and ambaram chit implies mind and ambaram means space chidambaram is akasha kshetra sky or space shiva is formless here the tamil term chidambara rahasyam the secret of chidambaram is really an empty space within the sanctum sanctorum in chidambaram temple lord shiva faces south in a dancing pose and bears the name of nataraja in the same temple lord vishnu faces east and bears the name of govinda raja a devotee has the unique opportunity of having darshan of both rajas kings by standing at one place 
Lord Shiva is said to have displayed his cosmic dance in Chidambaram. It is relevant to provide here Mahaperiyava's explanation on Nataraja's cosmic dance. This is extracted from his lecture in Chennai on October 20th, 1932. Nataraja is a name of Parameshwara. Natan is one who dances. The Raja, king of all Natans, is Nataraja. It really means that none can dance better than him. He is also called Mahanatan, great dancer. He is also called Ambala Kutaduvan in Tamil. In the Nataraja idol, the hair on the head appears to be stretched out on both sides. You will find a moon and Ganga on it. In photography, a snapshot is taken to suddenly capture a moving object. While Nataraja is dancing very fast, his hair is stretched out when the dance is about to end. This is the posture visualized by the sculptor who had created this idol of Nataraja. One of the hands of Nataraja holds a beat instrument called Udukkai, an hourglass shaped beat instrument, also known as Damarukam or Dakka in one of his hands. The beat of the Damarukam matches the beat of the feet. There are three important types of vadyams, musical instruments. Charma vadyam, instruments made with leather, tantri vadyam, string instruments, and vayurendra vadyam, air vent hold instruments. The charma vadyam is played by beating the instrument with sticks or hands. When the beat stops is the indication of ending a cycle, chapa. A chapa sound appeared in Nataraja's Damarukam when the dance was about to end. While Nataraja danced, sages like Sanakar, Patanjali, Vyagrapadar and others stood around him. They were great rishis who were able to visualize the cosmic dance through their jnana eyes. We humans have lens in our eyes. Our sight is dependent on this natural lens. With a magnifying lens, we can see the same objects magnified. What we see then is different. Sanakadis saw the dance with their real eyes. Vishnu played the Mattalam, a cylindrical shaped beat instrument. And Brahma added the Thalam, rhythmic beat. Towards the end of the dance, 14 different sounds arose from the Dabarukam. These sounds are in line with the 14 different types of arts. They are called as Maheshwara Sutras. Considering these sounds as Shiva Bhakti Stotram, verses depicting devotion to Shiva, Nandikeshwarar wrote a Bhashyam commentary on them. To be continued, Periyavasharanam.